simple, easy tonight. So, gotta do some stuff, fix the ute, go pick up some parts for the ute. Nice we drive out to Angus's, which is a long way out of town. But first, before I can even drive anywhere, we've got to fix what was initially thought was the turbo, but let's see if the GoPro will pick this up. First, that needs to be fixed. So, gonna put a new lower pulley on it, which is just gonna be hopefully somewhat easy. Take the fan off, undo the bolt, pull the pulley off. Obviously, take these belts off, because these were new belts before I had a shop do a little bit of work on it. I just inject the pump and stuff. It was just easier to drop it to the shop than try to be doing all that after work one night. Um, um long story short the alternator didn't get done up properly and the alternator fell off and all the belts fell off and overheated um and they put they had put new belts on put new alternator belts on when they did that so yeah long story short they fell off and it's been having problems ever since so tonight we're going to put a new lower pulley on and then at some point me and angus are looking to do a compound turbo setup so i'll stick a photo in of what that looks like there's a gentleman up north that's done it so we're looking to do that as well because all this room to play with with putting a bigger turbo in there. So first, we're coming off with the fan, which is not through the magnet of YouTube. Here's what I prepared earlier. Well, these nuts are tight. Right, got the bolts. Step one, fans out. Fan pulleys off. And belts are off. So now I've got to work out what size bolt holds that crank pulley on and get it off. So Corey's come around. Hello Corey. Hello Sam. We went around to Nathan's. It's a little bit of shit around there. But um so we missed the fun part, so we had to just just make yeah, we had to put we have two phones for light. We have two phones for light. Lights. We had to do this big thing onto the crank pulley, onto the crank pulley nut, which is here. Nice 38 mil pile of shit. Um, and we had to crank it against the fucking to get it off. But see, here's our big issue. Let me hold the camera, Sam. Oh, it's not going to do it now, is it? That is definitely an issue. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big fucking issue because it should be like this where you know that doesn't come off so i think the whole sound we've had since october was squealing rubber instead of it being turbo rubbing on housing it has literally just been this because these that's rubber ring and it's just completely broken away from there so now we're going to stick a new crank pulley on and then tomorrow night <laughs> We're gonna go pick up all the new parts for the ute. <laughs> How good? How good? So we're gonna put our new one on now. Got my, got my uh, quality light set up there. Corey's got the other quality light behind the GoPro. This is our GoPro light. This is a two thousand dollar light, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's because iPhone is trash, and the light is about all they're good for. <laughs> So while Corey goes inside and checks up my missus, uh, the lower pulley's back on, 
the I've just set the fan back on with two bolts and I've got the belts back on. So it's basically just torque up these four bolts, tighten that up, and then we're done, Corey. Alright. Yeah, you can you can have her. Alright, let's go over. She comes with the kid though and leave the credit card. Um the kid's alright. <laughs> you haven't seen her argue. <laughs> and no, she doesn't argue with me. I mean, she she will, give it two days. And um, the credit card's... But the swap, is, the swap is I keep the 180. Well, that's a rolling body at the moment. So. That's okay, you can have AC and rolling body. Oh, that's almost a good trade. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> he would too, don't he, he keep it. He genuinely would. Uh-huh. He genuinely I would. did offer you that same deal the day I bought the oh, SCD. I like it, Corey. Disappointed? So, no change? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, you want to say something really funny. So... Here we go. Um, we were talking about threesomes at work yesterday. <laughs> and one of the guys turned around to me and he was like, have you ever had a threesome with your missus? And I said, no. If I wanted to disappoint two people at the same time, <laughs> I'd go have dinner with my parents. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Sam. Yeah, so, you know what Sam so I'm going to so tighten these up and then... Um, Drive it to tomorrow and then we're going to head out to Darfield and pick up the new diff, the new springs and the new steering. And we're going to look at what it's going to take to compound turbo. So I went out to Angus's last night, forgot to set the GoPro. Um, had a little bit of a malfunction on the way out, which I'll add in now. So, yeah, that was... Um, I just stopped in Darfield on the way out to check how things were going. The year had been final day. I checked it before we left and that belt was fine. So obviously just that whole crank moving back and forth like that has just jollied it a bit. So from Angus we've got in new diff. Some new springs to get reset because this has just a spring removed in the back. And he's got some two inch leaves too. So I'm going to get them a four inch reset. And I'm going to stick them back in. But um, so we're currently rolling at the moment like... Angus had a new belt for the alternator, which we were going to put on out there, but it was 200 mils shorter than the old one, so there was no way it was going to work. So, the ute is currently rolling, single belted, but it looks like the turbo is still fucked, so turbo is going to get replaced. Now, I'm going to pull this thing apart again because apparently that is the coolest thing to do. Um, I will need light somehow, but I am gonna pull this side apart, fit this. Is this is my nice turbo I've got. These are very small factory turbos. This one has no, oh, next to no play in it. All turbos should have play, don't ever let anyone say, this turbo has no play at all. Because they should. But this one is pretty tight. Whereas that one is a bit sloppy jalopy. So I'm going to tear this part now. I'm going to try to find some light to help the videoing. And tear into it. Off to a bad start. First bolt I turn. Very first bolt. Didn't even get a spanner on it. So this was the first. This one here is the first turbo to manifold bolt. So we could still just be looking at something else. But you know, hey, let's get a torch and pull it up. So we're now. I've taken the downpipe off. So that's the top bolt that was broken. I can see a little bit of exhaust gas around there, so I wondered. That one there, I feel like that's going to snap too. Then I've got to get to that bottom one. That one there is the next one to come off. And then that one there. Alright, I assumed you guys were going to want to watch it snap, so let's... And there it goes. That one's sheared off as well. I'm gonna need a good new manifold tomorrow by the looks of this. It's 
300,000 k's though, what do you expect? Welcome back to Frustration with Sam. So I've got both top bolts snapped, bottom, one bottom bolt out, down pipes off, piping's off, turbo feeds off, returns loose. I'm just trying to get that one. Bottom one in that corner now. You know the one you can't see because of the light and shit. Uh, I'm just trying to get that one now, and then the turbo's off. Fuck it. Right, I've been at this for 45 minutes now. So, this bottom bolt. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Sorry, just trying to find it. This bottom bolt down here. This is our last one to do. It should just be a simple. It should just be a simple nut on the back side, which is not because the nut came halfway off, and now it's decided it's going to take the stub with it, and there's not much room to work, so I'm fighting it. And I'm fighting it, and I'm fighting it. And that is that. I've never felt so fucking defeated by a turbo in my life. But, hopefully, my phone lasts long enough to show you guys this. Two snap studs. Fucking annoying. Fucking annoying. Alright, I decided to call it there for last night. Um, I had an attempt to get in those bolts out this morning um, as to no prevail, so I've ordered a new manifold, well, I've ordered a second hand manifold which is on the way with no broken bolts in it. So we're taking a new turbo down now, so we're going to get a couple new hoses for it. Um, I'm going to put a new silicon joint that goes off it to the aftermarket pipe, preferably would have liked to still have the factory pipe on there, but it is what it is. Got my sidekick with me, and so we're going to head off to Jap Race and grab a couple things, and maybe some lunch. Trying out the seats. It's really nice. This would do well. I'm trying out the seats. Really nice what other one do you want to try? Would that be a good seat for Daddy's race car? Uh, I was yeah. locked. I wasn't so bad. Is that comfortable? No big Which one's your favourite out of these three? Uh, They're a nice seat, aren't they? What about this red one? What about the red one? Actually, I don't know. I like the red one. Went to mount shop. So what we've got to do is use the, use that same bit of Um, what we're gonna do is we use this pipe and slot that one over it and clamp it down. It's a very, very tight fit on there, which is what we want. But I don't really have much other choice because the one that's on there is blown apart. So go home. I'm gonna pull the front housing off. I'm gonna blow the turbo out. I'm gonna give the turbo a real good clean off. And then that's gonna be that for now. Alright, I just been working out the best way to set up the camera so I can instead of trying to hold everything and do it all at the same time. So we have our turbo there, so what we're gonna do is this one here slots over the turbo nicely, then that one slots over that one. At the moment it's a little bit of a gap, but by the time that is expanded out. So we're gonna cut this off here and then go boom put a clamp across both of them which is not ideal it's not something i enjoy doing or recommend doing and then that can go back into our stock intercooler piping instead of the hoary setup that was on there that i'll show you in a second so gonna now go outside take the front housing off the turbo and give that a wee blow up just because with doing all the renovations and everything there's been a lot of dirt dust everything flying everywhere so i just want to clean the intake housing of it out make sure all the wheels are clean and everything and then put the turbo back together and then hopefully by then the new manifold would have arrived and we can put it on. So, as you can see, it's just all these little star bolts that hold it on, which thankfully I do have those keys. And, but it's just that there's, you know, just shit like that in there. So we're gonna clean out the, uh, clean out all the inlet housing and everything, because we don't want any of this going through the wheels or going through the turbo. Huh, so we got 
these are our torx bits so hopefully we'll have some of the right size we got now it's just a little bit too big but that's what i want for that and that looks like the right size for that so i'm gonna whip the front housing off need a 10mm for that just gonna take the water lines off because they don't actually run water lines so they will just get deleted um I'll we'll just grab all this off and let's see what's under there. <laughs> all right, rebuilding a turbo on the, uh, well, attaching up a turbo on the bench. Sorry, Ella. So I've got the six bolts out for the front housing. So this should come off reasonably easily in a minute. I might have to use both hands though. All right, so I'm just gonna have to use both hands. I'll check back when this is off. All right, so I've now got the old turbo apart. You can see on the edges there where it's been rubbing the housing um can't really see well you can see a little bit on the housing but probably not through the camera um it's got it's got a wee bit of play but we're pressing the turbo anyway this turbo has got a lot less play as you can see the inside of it's a lot cleaner so we'll give this one a give this one a clean out put it back together get it on Right, that's the old turbo, so I've given this one a bit of a clean out. It's a lot cleaner in there. And got all the gunk out of there. I've cleaned off most of the actually off the outside of there. Yeah. What I'm gonna bite the bullet and do is it seems they don't have an O-ring, so this one was RTV'd. I might put a real thin smear around there, just I just wanna be certain I'm not gonna lose any boost, so this one's had RTV before, which I'm not happy about, but I guess we're just gonna have to fucking do it. Right, our turbo is now ready to go back on once my manifold arrives. So once the manifold arrives, put the manifold on, then that one's ready to go back on. So now we're up to pulling the old manifold off, which is this looks like a bunch of 12 more bolts. So that should be pretty straightforward. Right, let's get that off. All right. So these are five inch. What I've done before was they've done this here. So there's this two inch pipe, and then this set inside it. But it looks like this is actually blown apart, which might have been part of our problem. But so that had to be replaced. I'm going to replace that with a better fitting one, and then hopefully, look at that. The easiest thing on the suit so far. Bin material now, and now. But the interesting thing I found is that there had no nut on it, that there's a missing stud. So it actually only had six out of eight the whole time. So when the new man for arrives, I'll put that back together for now. For now, I'm going to have a clean up inside before I have to go pick up my wife. And she's really angry about the mess. It's arrived. Right, the new manifold, well, the second hand manifold is here, so I'm going to start putting this on. And just like that, the other manifold's on within five minutes. So that's sick, fucking shit's quite easy. So now I've got to get the turbo back on. And mainly I've got to find nuts because the other one was bolts, this one's studs, which I'm very much happy with it being studs. So I'm just going to work all that out and stack in this on. Alright, so I managed to lose the GoPro. But I found it. So the turbo's on. I put nice brand new stainless nuts on there. Um, and the pipe pipe's on. Feed line's on. Return line's on. So now I just gotta dump the exhaust. Put the exhaust on. Put the pipe on the front. And then it's ready to fire up again. Alright. I'll fire it up and make sure there's no leaks. And put all my tools away. <laughs> right, this does like to start rough cold and it hasn't been started for a couple of days, so. It's 
building like 19 PSI now. <laughs> Looks good to me. Oh, and don't worry about the cold ribbing it. Come on, guys, it's a diesel. It's fine. I'm not worried about it, so you don't need to be worried about it. Are you worried about me ribbing it up cold? Nah, not nah. at all. Not at fucking all. My last one of these bounties did cold ribbing like that for four and a half years and didn't fucking do anything. Right, so calling that done so that's going to wrap that one for today i'm going to be able to drive that to work again tomorrow and i will take it for a good drive tomorrow night i gotta to go out and help joel so i'll take it for a good drive then and find out if it's squealing so enjoy your night